welcome back to my channel here we'll be working on the construction of the end elevation as we are asked to produce the end elevation looking in direction of arrow a this arrow a that means we are looking at the object in this direction so we are going to have the end elevation here on this side so what we need to do now to produce the end elevation in direction of arrow a as we are instructed so i will need to draw a horizontal line from here so to this side okay so also from this point on this circle so i will draw a horizontal line and from this point on the circle i will also draw a horizontal line like this and also from this point i will draw a horizontal line here like this then from this point so i will need to draw a horizontal line from here and also from this point here i will draw a horizontal line so from this point i will draw a horizontal line here and so let me bring this so that you can see it very well okay so and also from here i will also draw a horizontal line so from here on this hexagon, I will draw a horizontal line. From here, I will draw a horizontal line. So from here, I will draw a horizontal line here. So from this point, I will draw a horizontal line. So from this point, I will draw a horizontal line. So we also draw a horizontal line from here. And we also draw a horizontal line from here. All right, so all these lines are what we are going to use to get the end elevation in direction of ROA as we are instructed. So what I need to do now, um, so as we know that uh, distance, um, so distance from year to year, so distance from year to year is 60 millimeters. So that's what we are going to use. So I'll just come here. So I'm going to move away a little bit from the front elevation. And I will draw a vertical line like this. Okay. So I'm going to take a measurement of 30 millimeters. So 30 millimeters from here. So now I take 30 millimeters down here. Like this. So and then I will draw a vertical line here. So I draw a vertical line. Okay, then I will draw a vertical center line here. Alright, so by the time we are looking at this uh the object in this direction, I'm going to see this line. So this line is going to be a thick line. So I want to start doing that instant immediately. So this is going to be a thick line. So from year to year. So this will be a thick line. So from year to year. And this will be a hidden line. So short dashes line to be hidden. So because I can't see it to be hidden from me, the whole to be hidden from me. So from that part. So I'm going to make this a short dashes line. okay also so this will be hidden from me so this one will be hidden from me so the line is here so this is going to be made with short dashes line all right so then i will see this point here so this point here so which is here let me bring it so i will see this point i will see it as a thick line so i'm going to made this a thick line okay then also i will see this as a thick line so coming up here so from year to year i will draw a thick continuous line like this all right so those ones have been put in place so what else do we have to put here what else do we have to put here so um by the time i'm looking at it in this direction so I'm going to see this part, this part here. I'm going to see it, and I'm going to see 
this one also so each of them one is going to be here and one is going to be here but do not forget let me bring it here that from this end here from this end this time from year to year is 11 and from year to year from year to year is 11 from year to year is 11 so we need to get that done here so what i need to do now is that i will take a measurement of 11 millimeters from this end this is 11 millimeters here this is 11 millimeters and i will also take 11 millimeters to this that's 22 so i will do the same thing on this side so this is 22 so i will take 11 so this is so this is 11 sorry so this is 11 millimeters here all right so i'm going to draw a center line here i'm going to draw a center line so this will be a center line and this will also be a center line yeah okay okay i'm supposed to take 11 to this side so this is 11 millimeters so here so i'm going to make this a thick line at once so from here to here will be a thick line and this will also be a thick line then i'll do the same thing here so this will be a thick line and this is also a thick line so i will draw this down at once as a thick line okay so i will not see the hole inside it so the hole will be hidden from me so i need to uh produce that so the diameter of that is 10 so that means the radius is five so i need to take five so from here to here five millimeters this is also five and i will also take five five so from here so this is five millimeters and this is five millimeters so this will be hidden so you can't see it so we need to make it with short dashes line Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm going to make this a thick line. So from here to here, a thick line. And from here to here, it's a thick line. All right, so we have all this in place now. So we are moving on. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is to put the shaft. So is to put the shaft. So um, so we need to follow this line. So from here, I'm going to take a measurement of so the diameter of the shaft is 16. So that would be 8, 8. So I'm going to take a measurement of eight millimeters to this side and eight millimeters to this side that is 16 millimeters so i'm going to draw a vertical line here so i draw a vertical line like this and i'll also draw a vertical line here like this all right so then also i uh, will also take five five millimeters five millimeters for this part that we have here so five millimeters so from here so here we take five millimeters to the left side five to the right side now we draw the vertical line okay yeah we draw a vertical line All right, so I can now, so this will be a thick line as this part can be seen. So this is also a thick line. So this will be, this is a thick line like this. Okay.
okay so you can see this part is a thick line this part is also a thick line so that this part that part is outside so i'm going to see it so and then so this will be a hidden part okay Okay, so all these parts are hidden. If I have not, okay, so this will be made thick from here to here, and this will be made thick. Okay, so another thing that I need to put here is this, uh, this part. So it's going to give me, I mean, this part here. So this part has to be there. So it's going to be. Um, so the diameter of that is 16 millimeters. Diameter of, the diameter of that is 16 millimeters. So I'm going to draw it here. So from the center, I will take 16 millimeters to the left side. And 16 millimeters to the right side. So making it 32. So here I'm going to draw a vertical line. So this is going to be. A thick line like this so from here down and also also make it a thick line from here down like this no to be hidden around here and also it will be really hidden around here like this and also this will be a thick line because the shaft is inside it the shaft is inside this part so that's what we have there so the next thing i'm going to put here is to put the web so by the time we are looking at it in this direction of roa so the web is going to give us a rectangle so on this so the thickness of the web is eight so that means i have to take a measurement of four millimeters from the center here so four millimeters So four millimeters to the left side and four millimeters to the right side here. So here I'm going to draw a vertical line. So from here to here, like this. And I'll also draw a vertical line from here to here. So I'm drawing it with 18 continuous line first because we are going to have a small cup around here so which i will use my my um french cuff to do what's a small cuff like this all right so then i can go on and make the web a thick line. So you see rectangle here. So I'll also draw it. All right, so that is the web. So another thing that we are going to have here is the cell screw. So the cell screw, we are going to uh, show it here. So um first of all um so from here i'm going to take a measurement of 18 millimeters so 18 millimeters so this is 18 so this is 18 millimeters here then i will take six as the hexagonal head for the hexagonal head of the cell screw 
six millimeters so this is so i'll take six from here so this is six millimeters here so here i'm going to draw a vertical line here okay sorry so this is not this is six millimeters here okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to uh, complete the so for the cell screw i want to complete its hexagonal edge so i just take two millimeters down here and i will draw a vertical line from here to here then i'm going to so use my hand to make a curve on this part so i do the same thing here so from here to here all right so it's what i've done here so i'm going to blend this together so i make this a tick line from here to here and this is also a tick line from here to here so this will be a tick line and this will also be a tick line okay so with my 60 degree cell square sorry 30 degree side so i'm going to okay so i'll do the same thing here okay so that is the hexagonal head of the cell school so we have produced that so next thing i'm going to do the thickness of the or the diameter of the cell screw so the threaded part is eight millimeters so i need to take four so four millimeters down here so this is four millimeters now we also take four millimeters here now we draw a horizontal line okay yeah, we also draw a horizontal line like this. All right, so I will take one, one millimeters in. So one millimeters in here. So this is one millimeter, and this is also one millimeter in. So I will draw a horizontal line. So draw a horizontal line here like this. Yeah, I will also draw a horizontal line all right so i believe you can see what i'm doing here okay all right so then i'm going to take a measurement of two millimeters here two millimeters so i will draw a vertical line so from here to here all right so this part is going to be hidden going to be hidden it is, it is inside the the cylindrical parts okay okay so this will also be hidden okay so um So I believe we can see it clearly now. So this part is also hidden. It's inside the cylindrical part. So this will be a thick line. And this will also be hidden. And then okay, coming here. So we'll do the same thing. So this will be hidden. So make this thick. So this will be also be hidden from here to here. Then we make this thick. All right, so we have produced the uh, end elevation in the direction of arrow A as we asked to produce this, how it will look. So all you need to do is to practice. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. There's something I need to put here. The center of this circle has to be shown. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's complete now. So thank you and God bless you.